The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good evening and welcome to Recognition, a Lions University course brought to you by the USA Canada Lions Leadership Forum. My name is Lion Budwall and I'd like to welcome you to this evening's webinar and remind you that we are recording this session for those who cannot participate live or for anyone wishing to review the material at a later time. Uh, hopefully um, this microphone won't pick up all of the thunderstorms and everything that are going on this evening back here in Illinois it's uh, we're having a tornado warning going through and plenty of storms going through so um, hopefully the, the the thunder and lightning and everything won't cause too many issues or problems with the recording and, and for you to hear what's happening so uh, but just a reminder once we do begin you might be asked to respond to a question or you may uh, have a question yourself and this could be done either by typing your, your question in the questions pane in the panel along the right side of your screen, or by raising your hand or clicking on your hand so that you can be unmuted, uh, giving you the opportunity to share verbally with the entire group. Recognition is, um, is course 204 a required course for Lions University Master's Program that's designed to help the Lions lead at the district level. The Master's Program involves the completion of the 10 required courses you see on the left side of your screen, as well as at least 10 of the 13 electives that are shown on, or at least five, I'm sorry, um, of the electives on the right side of your screen, not 10, but at least five. So you have the 10 required courses on the left and at least five of the, the electives that are shown on the right side of your screen. This is the Lions University website, lionsuniversity.org. And this slide shows a page and actually in the bachelor's program uh, listing the courses offered in that level. Now, the master's program page would have similar information, but would include the courses in the master's program. And if you were to click on any of the courses listed on the page, you would then be taken directly to that particular course page, uh, which would give you all the details for that course, along with a link to register for the course and links to any course handouts and course quiz. We even have a calendar page you can click on to see what courses are scheduled in the weeks and months ahead. This slide shows what a course page typically looks like. It, it lists the course name and number, gives a description of the course, shows who the faculty member is, and gives you links to register for the class and any of the course materials. If you haven't already done so, you will have to create a, a separate username and password to get into register for the course and have access to the quiz. And after participating in the webinar or watching the video of the webinar at a later time, you can click on the Mark as Completed tab at the bottom of the page marked by that red arrow and you will then be taken uh, to the, the quiz unit. <clears throat> When you complete the quiz and submit your answers, you will be instantly given the results. And uh, you can then click on the My Account tab, which is at the top of the page, and see firsthand view, uh, see a firsthand view of the courses you've completed in both the math, uh, master's and the bachelor's level programs. Our faculty member this evening is Lion Carla Harris. <clears throat> Lion Carla hails from the great state of Wisconsin and makes home in South Milwaukee, Wisconsin. She is an inter international director just beginning to serve her second year of a two-year term on the board of directors. She was also with us back in June of this year when she was the faculty member for 
a course, uh, an elective course in the master's program entitled Motivation. Uh, so at this time, it gives me great pleasure to uh, welcome her here tonight. And with that, Line Carla, welcome, and I'll turn it over to you this evening. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. Uh, I hope the weather there is better where you are than it is where Bud is, because he's right in the middle of the storms, and we've got some rain coming into Milwaukee as well. Thank you very much for joining us. You can click on our slide, Bud. Next slide. Is everybody click? There it is. There's our quote. Uh, it is a rare and high privilege to be in a position to help people understand the differences that they can make, not only in their own lives, but in the lives of others by simply giving of themselves. I think this is a quote that lions live by. Every day we have the opportunity to make a difference. And as Lions leaders, you have an even bigger opportunity, and that is to lead others into this remarkable experience of Lionism. Today we're going to talk about recognition. Here's our objectives for the day. We're going to review our volunteer motivation uh, just to get us on right tracks here. And we're going to talk about the importance of recognition and how it can make a difference in your club. We're going to look at the difference between a high praise and a thank you. And then we're going to learn and experience some volunteer recognition methods. And I hope we'll have a little fun while we're at it. We're, to review a little bit about motivation, there are a lot of motivational theories. And before we jump into recognition, we're just going to have a really, really quick review of what motivates people to volunteer. Um, we need to have a clear understanding of why people join Lions if we want to have a clear picture of what we need to do as leaders to get them to stay in Lions. Um, and I hope by the end of this you'll understand that recognition plays such a key point in, in part of keeping us motivated. There are 27 different theories of academic motivation. We are not going to go over those theory, all 27. We're just going to talk about two. Now, I'm sure most of you have already taken course, is it 108? Uh, I think Judy Dudley taught that in the bachelor's program. And then we had uh, motivation in the master's program, which I taught. Uh, that was number 229. There's also one on the Lions Learning Institute. So we're just going to breeze through this next section um, really fast. We're going to start with Maslow's hierarchy of needs. And I think everybody's really, really familiar with this. We have to have our basic needs met first. This is the theory that all of human psychology is based on our needs being met. Our, our motivation and everything is based on these needs. So we start with physical survival, go up to security, safety. You know, you have to meet one before you can meet the other. Then love and belonging. That's where Lions Club is. That belonging, that's the need that causes people to join Lions. And the love, that's the friendships that we form. The next level, that esteem and that ego section, that's where recognition comes in. Because before we can move to the top of Maslow's hierarchy of needs and our personal self-actualization, we need positive self-esteem. And we need to feel good enough about ourselves so that we can recognize what we're doing with lions is of value and importance. So today, we're going to look at that esteem and that ego section of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. As we go on to the different sections, we'll need to learn why our members are involved and what they need to know to ask, you know, to, to raise themselves up to that next level. So that's it for the series review. We're done with that. Let's go on to our next slide and have some fun with lions. There, we got our esteem and ego. Now, here's our own lion's hierarchy of needs. You know, we've had the serious stuff, but this really is what lions are about. We like our food. We start with that. 
Then we move up to the free stuff. You know, we get cool vests, we have logo shirts, we have great pins, and on up to our friends and lions, which are so important. We enjoy being together and we enjoy sharing that fun and that fellowship of lions. And I think the focus is the key. That's the knowledge that what we do matters. And that correlates with the self-actualization that Maslow is talking about. Our family of lions, that becomes our family of choice. And the positive encouragement that we receive from them matters a great deal. There's another theory I want to review before we go on into recognition. And that next one is David McClellan's theory of acquired needs. And again, we're going to breeze through this really fast because I know you've already learned about it. But as Lions leaders, it's really important that we understand these areas of motivation so that we can decide what kind of recognition fits what person. And we can provide the right recognition at the right time to hopefully keep them in Lions a little longer. So David McClellan's theory, the whole theory is the motivation is shaped over time by different needs. And people have needs in three areas. Need for achievement, need for affiliation, and need for power. So let's look. Everybody changes from time to time. So we're going to just have a brief look at which each area is. We're going to start with that need for achievement that motivates many people in their Lions activities. So for the achievement volunteers, I, I kind of like to call them the process volunteers. They seek to excel and advance. They enjoy solving problems. They like independent work. They like systems, facts, figures, checklists. They want goals, measurable successes, and they love really good, solid challenges. Start to think about what kind of recognition would work for a person like that. Let's go on to the next one, the affiliation. Lions who are joining for affiliation, they're motivated by affiliation, they like teamwork. They enjoy socialization, they enjoy group activities, they like harmony, relationships, they really want to help each other. They're looking for approval at the base needs, safety, but they love a solid focus of knowing that their hands are helping. We kind of consider them more of social volunteers. And then our final selection, is our power volunteers, powerers. They're looking for impact or influence in a certain area. They enjoy leading, they like to teach, they love giving advice. They really are moved by motivating people, creating and innovating. Leverage um, and impossible dreams surely motivate these lions. They're called our impact volunteers. So really the big question is, why are we taking times to look at these different things? Again, we want to make sure that we're motivating people in a way that means the most to them. And now, our next slide. We're going to talk about a McKinsey survey. There were three non-cash motivators that were as important or more important to paid employees than the three highest financial incentives. Let's look at what they were. The number one non-cash, praise from immediate managers. The second non-cash, attention from leaders. And the third is giving them a chance to lead a project. Now, is this not what Lions can do? We can give all of those things. And we can do it wholeheartedly and really offer people the motivators that they need. You know, it doesn't cost us a penny to give someone praise. If people are willing to leave their paid employment, what do you think is happening in Lions when Lions don't receive praise from their managers? I think we all know that we've joined Lions to serve. We didn't join Lions for recognition. And our, and our need for recognition is almost subconscious to us. I think we often don't realize our own needs for recognition until the day that we feel unappreciated, or worse yet, when we feel we're being taken advantage of by our own lions. This is a real serious problem for lions, and it's a problem that causes both new and long-time lions to leave. 
it happens in every club, in every situation, unless we can change what we're doing for Lions. As a Lions leader, you have the opportunity to change that tide and not let people feel unappreciated or taken advantage of and not let them walk out the door. I think it's so important that we can do that. So we're going to talk about the different types of recognition today and how they can have an impact on our Lions. Basically, there's two types of recognition. In a nutshell, formal and informal. First, we're going to look at formal recognition. Formal recognition is something we do quite often in Lions, and we do it really well. We are quite good with our formal recognitions. So here are some of them listed. I know protocol, you know, sometimes you think of it as, ah, oh, it's a real time waster and a real pain in the butt. But you know what? It can be an ultra simple way to give a formal recognition to those who have served in the past. Simply by calling off their name and their title, boom, boom, one right down the list to the next in a brief, quick protocol, you can save yourselves a lot of hassle later on with people feeling unappreciated and the need to stand up and announce it to everybody else. Now, the other thing is new member induction. Now, a lot of people don't really think of new member induction as formal recognition, but it is. It's as recognizing of people as an awards night. Always, always, always have formal inductions of new members taken seriously. It's, it provides us with a proven, a proven way to recognize our current members. If we have somebody who is well respected and does a good job at the induction, it will leave everybody feeling good about their service. And it's just not a matter of, are you breathing? Can you pay your dues? Oh, let's induct you. That's not it. It's about being a lion and serving the world in the world's largest service organization. And we really need to put some emphasis on being proud of our new members and standing up alongside them with every member there feeling valued and important and walk away from that Installate induction feeling as though they personally have been recognized as a proud lion. The final two things on our list here, the anniversary nights, the charter nights, and the awards and honor nights, are something we're all really pretty comfortable with. And we actually have had a number of, uh, I think we had a program. That's right. We've actually had two master's programs. I uh, one on protocol, I think it was 231, I wrote that down earlier, 231, and another one on meaningful ceremonies, number 232. So check out those two, or look back at your notes for those two awards. Now with our formal awards, there are many, many different kinds of formal awards that you can present. We're not going to go into all of those because each district club um, and multiple district has their own different things. But it's so important to do them in a specifically formal environment, uh, such as an anniversary night that we mentioned early. The presentation needs to be well thought out. You don't just hand it to somebody, call their name and hand it to them and walk away. Explain the award. Explain why the person's receiving the award. And explain why that award and that person is valuable to your club and to Lions in general. So you can be serious, but you can have a little bit of fun. You know, there's nothing wrong with having a little bit of fun, as long as it's just a little bit. Um, always keep the focus on the honoree. So now we've had all of this formal stuff that we've talked about, but what about the things that we can do on a day-to-day -day basis? You know, those everyday things, the informal things, the compliments, celebrations, the free things that we can do, saying thank you, and instant recognitions. We're going to spend the rest of our time focusing on that because it's really, really so very important. Now, you know, every day we have, we say thank you to everybody, right? We walk through the store, thank you for holding the door. Uh, you know, how many of you have really been in love? I mean, 
really, really in love, where you hold hands and you walk around saying, I love you, dear. How often is I love you said too much? How, how often should you say I love you when you're in a relationship, a really serious relationship, or when you'd like to be really serious and be long-lasting? Should you say I love you once a day? Should you say it five times a day? Should you say it once a week? How often should you say it? Today, just for a minute, I'm going to say, let's just forget it. Saying I love you is not worth the time. It's not worth the money. It's not something we're going to do anymore. We're just not going to do it. We're not going to say I love you. We're not going to give flowers, no game tickets, no gifts. Forget the birthdays. I'm not even going to celebrate Valentine's Day or Sweetest Day. Not even at the anniversary. Just one day, one day each year, we're going to say, this is your party. We're going to have a big party. We're going to invite all the friends and family. And when everybody's in the room, we're going to look at them and turn to the person we love and say, I love you, dear. Thank you. And then that's it, right? We're done. We never have to say, I love you again. Do you think that'll work? I'm thinking that's not going to work. And we can't treat our lions like that either. We can't hold our thank yous. We can't hold our recognition. And we can't hold our gifts until one day a year when we think we're going to remember to recognize everyone. Nope. We need to say thank you all the time. By saying thank you all the time, our lions will really get the meaning. They'll understand what we mean. We say thank you all the time to grocery store clerks, people who hold the door. We need to translate I love you or thank you to our lions. And no, you're not going to say I love you to all of your lions, but it's important that we recognize them. It's important to feel valued. Oh, we have a different slide here. That's good. Okay, we're going to create a culture of recognition. And we're going to use high praise as true motivation. And the number one reason that people leave their job is lack of praise and recognition. So this is a study by Robert Half. Now, if people are ready to walk out of their paid jobs because they don't have it, they're not getting the praise they need, what are they doing with lions? They are definitely walking out on us too. Next slide, please. We need to have our lions feel valued. We need to make sure that they understand that we value them. Because when they feel valued, well, we give our best work if we feel valued. And we bring out the best in others. All of us bring out the best in each other. When we bring out the best, we're happy, and we're proud lions who stay involved. And when we stay involved, we attract new lions who can do more service projects. And that's what we're all about. It's all about feeling proud. It's all about staying in lions. Well, on to the compliments. How can we do well, how can we do this? What is it that will help us with this? Compliments and little celebrations are so important to everybody. We need to encourage lions who are struggling. We give them positive feedback. It's effective for new lions because a lot of times they're not sure if they're on the right track. Just a little little comment to let them know will help them stick with it. A compliment could be all that stands in the way of a struggling new lion between staying and leaving. We need to help lions learn new tasks. For our lions who've been there for a long, long time, positive feedback is a great way to get a veteran lion to try something new. And it'll give them a chance to deepen their commitment. If you catch them at doing something good, give them a compliment, boost them up. Our third one is strengthening our relationships within lions. You know, compliment conveys respect. 
and relationships are built on respect. It's, it's really very simple. Even if you have someone you don't get along with very well, you can melt the ice between you and an antagonist. But it requires a bit of humility on your part. But it tells the receiver that even if you don't agree with them on anything else, you do admire at least that one quality. That thaw could help lead you to becoming a be getting a better relationship between the two of you. You may not be best buds, but at least you'll have a better relationship. It's important. It also increases our circle of friends. You know, people like to be around others who are positive and make them feel good. There's nothing that makes a person feel better about themselves than a sincere and thoughtful compliment. And it helps you personally be less cynical and less negative. When you start to always look for the good stuff, you increase your ability to see positive things all the way around. And yes, there are admirable things that people do every day. As a Lions leader, we need to look for it. But what holds us back? Why can't we do it? First of all, our brains focus on the negative. This is just a basic natural thing. You know, our ancestors used this. It kept them out of a lot of trouble. Cavemen learned to watch for the negatives. Don't pull the tail of a saber-toothed tiger. Keep in mind that we need just basically to look around the negative so we can develop a plan of action for safety and security. But for us to become a better complementer, we need to be aware that we have that negative bias and we need to change that and make it more positive. It will help us a lot. We're often self-absorbed. No matter how selfless we think we are, we're just naturally concerned about ourselves. We think everybody else is concerned about us as we are about ourselves. And truthfully, they're not. So we need to reach out and reach others. Lions don't need thanks. How many times have we heard this? I'm a lion, you don't have to thank me. But that's not true. Everyone deserves thanks. Everyone deserves appreciation. How about we see everything as a competition? We feel if we compliment somebody else, what, we're losing points? Or it says we're not as good as they are? That's not the case. It's not a competition. In fact, by complimenting somebody else, you are showing that you are the better person and the bigger lion because you can respect the excellence in them. The other comment we hear all the time is, I'm too shy to do that. You know, compliments are the best low-risk, high-return way to overcome social anxiety. It's a great way to kick off a conversation, to say, wow, I love the way you cleaned off that table. Thank you so much for helping me. Who's not going to want to talk to you if you start out with a compliment on them? It, no one's going to turn a cold shoulder. They're going to talk to you. The other comment we hear is, oh, I don't want to appear like a suck-up. Well, you know what? It's okay. Don't let fear stop you. Just keep in mind, especially with bosses, you know, brown nosing with a boss, be sincere and be ju judicious in your compliment. And don't go overboard and don't offer compliments when tons of people are around. Just be direct at, to them. Bosses love the compliments. Lions like the compliments. It's just colleagues that don't like it as much. <laughs> and we assume people already know. I don't have to tell him he did a good job. He already knows. You know, nobody ever gets tired of hearing a compliment. Even if you've told them before, one more time will not hurt. And really, you might be the only person that's ever told them. Don't be stingy with your compliments. And then the last one is, we just don't know what to say. I hear that all the time. Well, I wanted to say something, but I didn't know what to say. So the key is, we're going to give you some ideas right now, and we're going to practice it so you'll know what to say. Here we go. On to our next slide. The recognition formula. Here's the secret to recognizing people. I saw what you did. 
I appreciate it. Here's why it's important. Here's how it makes me feel. These are the four elements of a compliment, of recognizing person with quality high praise. This is quality high praise. You can't just say, well, good job. What does that mean? Nobody really understands. It's important to really be specific. Here's an example. You say, Dale, you know, you really know how to wipe down the tables. You really made them shine. I appreciate you helping me. It shows the folks that we care about their health and their clothes. And I'm so delighted you came and joined our cleanup crew. Simple, we hit all four things. Or how about this one? Mary, kudos for taking on the zone chair position. Thanks for stepping up. You have what it takes to provide a difference in this district. Having a great zone chair helps camaraderie between the clubs and it leads to sharing best practices. I'm so proud to have sponsored you. Those are four points that will turn a thank you into a high praise and make anybody feel better. Now I want you to just keep these four points in mind and think about them because after another slide we're going to take those four points and we're going to form them into exa an example. So let's go on to this next slide while you think about it. When you're recognizing people, I want you to remember that recognition should always be ASAP. As soon, as sincere, as specific, as personal, as positive, and as proactive as possible. Don't wait. Be a coach. You know, coaching doesn't work if you wait two months to tell the player you like the play they made. You have to tell them on the spot. It's the same thing with recognition. Be sincere. Don't make an insincere compliment. Don't walk up to somebody and say, wow, you look like you walked out of the centerfold of a fashion magazine. No. That's a pickup line, not recognition. We want them to be true, heartfelt, and specific. We used Dale the other day. Rather than just saying, hey, good job, Dale, or in the last slide, say, Dale, thank you for cleaning off those tables. You really made them shine. Be honest, but be specific. Always, always be positive, personal and positive. Never, ever use recognition as a negative thing. Don't say, wow, good work on the tables, but you need to stop talking so much. No, don't do that. Just avoid that and avoid the backhanded compliment that's really an insult. Gee, you look good considering your age. No, don't do that. That never works with lions or, oh, hey, you're smarter than you look. The only time that works is with your younger brother. Don't do that as a Lions leader. Keep your compliment, your recognition positive, and be proactive. Look now for something. Don't do it later. You, with some recognition now, you could be preventing a problem later on or preventing a lion from leaving. Like, what? Lion Lisa quit? She was doing such a good job. Well, did anyone ever tell her? I don't know. So now let's practice. We're going to practice high praise. Now, anybody who has come up with one of these, I'm going to ask you to raise your hand if you'd like to be called on. I want you to do a very short, very brief, high praise, including these four points. I saw what you did. I appreciate it. Here's why it was important. Here's how it made me feel. Is there anyone who would like to try a high praise? And while you're looking at it and raising your hands if you're interested, I'm going to do one right now. I'm just going to say, Bud, Lion Bud, thank you so much for being my moderator tonight. <laughs> your guidance was so important to me. And it's important to all of those who are taking this master's program. Because without you, it wouldn't be the success it is. So thank you very, very much, Lion Bud, on what you've done. It makes us all feel wonderful. Thank you, Lion Bud. You're welcome, Lion Bud. Thanks for saving me. <laughs> no problem. I don't, I don't have any hands raised, but we do have uh, a few comments that have come in. Uh, let me see if I can get this going here. 
Uh, Lion Leanne says, I saw that you sent the sent above to help at the barbecue. I I don't have all of that in here, I guess. I'm, I'm not sure. Let's see. Um, well, Lion, ID Lion Carla, you are a great presenter and made the material come to life, Lion AJ says. Thank uh, you. Lion Leanne said, um, let's see. Oh, okay. Let's back up to the barbecue thing that she said earlier. She said, I saw that you sent above, uh, to, you signed above to help with the barbecue. I appreciate it very much. You know, it is important to show we can help and assist those in need. You made me feel so proud of you and your help. That's from Lion Leanne. Perfect. Yeah. Got all those four elements in there, Leanne. That's great. Lion Nancy said, I like the way they looked on the table. The people are going to love the way the hall looks. Um, I feel so special attending the fundraising. So she, she's been giving us uh, little individual. Oh, I see. And that was, yeah, Nancy was saying that was uh, Peggy did a good job on the decorations. Yeah. Right on the decorations. Excellent. Very good. Yeah. I, I think everybody gets the idea. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, you know, it's so important rather than just saying, hey, good job, that we actually have some specifics and learn what we're doing. Great. Now, everybody needs to feel appreciated, but who gets what? That's the big question we're going to talk about right now. How do we set, decide who gets what? We need to keep a culture of recognition and reward. And we need to match it to the person. We need to match it to the achievement. And we need to match it to the budget. And I think that's slide uh, 31, bud. That's it. There. If we match our recognition to these things, it will be more relevant. This is not rocket science. You know, uh, Dale, for cleaning off the tables, doesn't need a Melvin Jones Award. But you know what? Maybe the person who organized the, the festival for the last 40 years should get the Melvin Jones. That would be matching it to the achievement, matching it to the person. Everyone needs to have recognition that matches it. Let's say someone does a good job of installing a new light fixture in your clubhouse. At the next meeting, just present them with a packet of light bulbs in front of the members and say, thanks for lighting the way for us. Next time somebody sponsors a new member, give them a packet of seeds and say, thanks for growing our club. You can have fun with this. You can give a cube of post-it notes out to someone for sticking with a project that nobody else wanted to do. You know, the ideas are endless when you match it to the person, to the achievement, and to your budget. It only needs pennies. Now, everyone needs recognition and reward, the little R&R. &R. Remember when we talked about the three different types of people, McClellan's acquired needs? We need to match it to the person. Think about whether they're affiliators, achievers, or those powerers. What would mean it to them? Match it to that achievement. Was it innovative? Was it funny? Was it major? Was it different? Be creative with it and match it to your budget. You know, we're all broke and we all know that. And we don't want to spend our Lions Club fundraising activity money on our Lions so we can do it really inexpensively. Let's look at matching it to the person now on our next slide. Remember those three, the affiliators, the achievers, the powers? You know, affiliators, the social volunteers, potlucks, parties, people, achievers, awards, articles, action, and the power, influence, impact, visibility. You know, for the affiliators, they're social. You know, a small gift given to them in front of the club or at the event that they coordinated will be most meaningful to them. And the achievers, well, you know, they love to have maybe a certificate that they can put on their wall. And they're more interested in making some difference. The powerers, impact volunteers, an opportunity to teach or a plaque or just recognition, maybe even write an article, some of those things. But everybody needs praise, recognition, and focus. We're going to have a chance to do some more right now. So I'm not going into much because I want to have you some, give you some time to, to think about some of these ideas. And then I'm going to ask you to share some ideas now for a few minutes. These are just some quick things. While you're thinking of things and typing some things in the box of some casual, quick, easy praises, I'm going to read these while you type in some ideas that you had. 
I was at a club that provided the grill cook of the day with the blue apron. Everybody else had to wear white, but the grill cook of the day got to wear a blue apron. The bright idea was they're giving out a light bulb, so when someone changed the light fixture. I was at a club where someone caught a huge mistake in their audit. They awarded him a special Sharpie pen for the next year. Expanding a project or your club, you could do the packets of seeds. I was at an event called Stan's Day. They had a volunteer, a lion that just did everything, and they couldn't try and recognize them for everything. They'd already given them Melvin Jones, so they just declared it Stan Day and had a cake. And every time, every now and then, somebody'd say Stan, and they'd all cheer. A member minute, asking. I was at a club that asked people to stand up and talk for five minutes just about themselves say something just about themselves that we didn't know. It was a great eye-opening experience. And of course, happy bucks. You know, for a buck, you get to say something. You get to recognize somebody for something that they've done. And you're donating a buck. You get to brag for a buck. You're increasing the cause. And you're celebrating people. So those are some ideas. And I hope some of you have entered in some new ideas into the question pane. Um, do we have any? practice ideas? Anything that anyone's entered in, bud? Uh, not yet. We don't. No, I think they were listening to all of your examples. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I don't know. Well, let's practice. Let's switch, let's switch our slide over to practice. And does anybody have any quick things that they can type up on uh, matching it to the person, the achievement, or to their budget? Any quick little things? You know, Here's some ideas. What could you use a pack of M&Ms as a reward for? Or a box of mints? A paper fan? I'm a fan of yours. What other quick little ideas does anybody have? Mine AJ says, no choice for the next meeting. I'm not sure what he, what he means by that, but... Uh, Wait, let them pick it. Maybe let somebody pick the real choice. Yeah, right. Cool. Yeah, that would be neat. Any other quick little ideas? I have Lion Leanne says, give a stuffed lion to a member uh, for going above and beyond at an event to show they are a roaring lion. Great. Yeah, and Lion Tim says, Smarty's in some customized mini, mini pants for Smarty Pants. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, lion Nancy says, a small plastic bank full of pennies for a treasurer's good work. Well, that's kind of a neat idea. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. So I had one, one club that bought a box of uh, envelopes with the peel off things because one of the members was always complaining about licking the nasty envelopes, and so they bought him an envelope with the peel off tab oh. and presented oh. at a meeting. You, you know, it can be fun. Sure. Yeah, and they, they did say um, uh, letting the member choose the menu for the next meeting. Um, Lion AJ, a hug from Lion L, our mascot. Um, let's see. Hmm. You're a peach of a girl for selling the most peaches. Lime Genie says that. Oh, good. <laughs> Give somebody a peach and then say that. Yeah. Lion. Uh, okay. uh, Lion Linda says a large pencil or pen for a great secretary um, or of a, a leader project. Let's see. Yeah. So for a good secretary and a large pencil or pen. Uh, birthday cupcake, special hats. Everyone gets recognized at least once a year. Lion Judy offers that. You know, for birthdays, you can give them a birthday cake or a special hat and you recognize someone's birthday. Some good ideas there. Excellent. I love it. I love it. And I do have a list of, well, it's almost 200 and some ideas, and I will be emailing that list to Lion Bud to place on the website, uh, I'll, I'll do that in the morning, unless I can find it tonight, but otherwise we'll do that in the morning, so tomorrow we shall have that, we'll have that list for you, but it's got hundreds of the things on it, like a plant for growing the club, that kind of thing, and it is done, started by the Girl Scouts uh, and the Boy Scouts, so there's some great, great, very inexpensive fun ideas, and I'll, I'll email that list, it's I don't know. It's a lot of pages, so you probably won't want to print it all out, but you can go on it and look at it. I got two new ones here, or a couple of new ones. Lion AJ says a large eraser for the auditor. <laughs> Lion, uh, Lion Don says decorate a special chair and table area for a new grandma lion. Small favors at each place setting. 
so you can recognize um, uh, a new new grandma and, and recognize the Good. grandma. Um, and, and recognizing personal accomplishments, not just Lion's accomplishment, but personal accomplishments in life. That's a great idea, Lion Dawn. Uh, and Lion Nancy says we had a couple of young kids help with projects and we gave them appropriate little items to the event they helped with. So recognizing uh, helpers, uh, like you say, just Excellent. recognize anyone that, that you can. And, and the more you do that, the uh, more beneficial it is for everyone. That's right. And hope your auditor doesn't use the eraser too much. Or your treasurer. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> All right. You know, it's important to practice. And this is key, especially those high praises. It can take a while to get all four. And initially, you can even say, wow, I saw you clean the table. I appreciate it. They look so much better. I feel good. That's OK. You're getting the hang of it. Keep practicing and keep going forward. And I see a few questions. If anybody has questions, they should type them in, Bob, and I can answer those at the end. But it's important to practice the compliments and the recognition. One of the things that we talk about often is having a regular time each week to send little written thank you notes, or in this day and age, a brief text or an email is appreciated to most people just as much as a thank you note. But there is something really special about that written thank you note. That's the one thing I'm not very good at, but we all need to practice. We need to get good at seeing the behaviors worth celebrating. This is so very important. Train yourself to see above the negative. Train yourself to see the positive, good things going on around you. And the third thing is you have to learn how to receive a compliment. I've heard so many lions say, oh, you don't have to say anything. Or, oh, no, 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 no. I, I just do it because. Learn to say thank you to a compliment because it reinforces to the person telling you that they've made a difference. By negating their compliment, they may feel, oh, they really don't care. Say thank you, look them in the eye, and acknowledge and, and receive the compliment or the recognition and the reward. And thank them for noticing the behavior as well. I'm going to ask you to do one more thing today, and that's to challenge yourself. One way to get good at recognize, recognition and reward is to challenge yourself to do it. Do five people next week. Compliment five different people next week. Your loved one, a coworker, a longtime lion, a new lion, and a perspective lion. Because everybody who's not wearing the pin now is a perspective lion. So make a point to really go ahead, get out there, compliment people, and say thank you for what they've done. A little bit of recognition will reward you as well. It's important that we have a culture of recognition, that we create the culture of recognition. We need to have an awareness of the volunteer motivation. We need to supervise positively and with thanks, providing high praise, we need to keep a culture of reward and recognition. Obviously, our, our letters match up. And the key to keeping lions and to turning sometime lions into long-term lions is asking them, but also recognition and reward, praising them liberally all the time. Now. Does anybody have any questions before we go on to our final objective summary? Or were there any last minute little things that we should recognize in there? We had, a, we had a couple that came in. Um, Lion AJ said a, a special pin, uh, either from governor or district pin, or maybe even a club pin. Um, if, if, the, if you know the individual likes pins, um, you, know, you can give some type of a, a pin recognition. A lion Don adds, uh, we have a few lions who struggle with social settings. So things that most take for granted being able to do are real challenges for these couple of lions. So even though they may be doing everyday things, it's a big deal. Uh, they did them. So try to be careful to realize that too. So some people just aren't yes. um, 
you know, they're not comfortable. You know, with right. And, and those lions, those lions, the most important thing you can do is to walk over to them. Just spend a moment with them and tell them personally what they're doing that you admire. I really admire that you come to every meeting and you're always at the service project. Every time I've ever come to an eye screening, you're there helping. You're such a key member of our Lions Club. Let them know that you have seen it, even if they're not the type that wants to be recognized in public, even though they're probably not the one you want to say, oh, stand up and give us a speech. But just to acknowledge what they're doing is key. Yeah, just that, that that's so so correct. A, a personal acknowledgement off in the corner someplace, you know, just a one on one with them because they're they may just be a you know, uncomfortable with the with the uh, public acknowledgement and recognition, and just want you know could receive something more personal. I think that was uh, that's a great idea. Yep, definitely. Um, let's see. There's a question here from Lion Christina. Are there volunteer pins available from Lions Clubs International? It's a good. Um, uh, you mean a pin that says specifically volunteers? There are tons of great pins available from Lions. Um, pins that you can buy. There's a catalog now. You can go online and look at it, or you can call them and request that they mail you one, and they will do that. But there are many, many different types of pins that you can purchase from Lions, and you can purchase just one or two. You don't have to order a hundred of them, and use them as special volunteer recognition. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Lion Marcia suggests maybe uh, the club recognize a Lion of the Month. On a regular basis, that's kind of a neat idea. Um, yeah, very good. And I know when I was on the board, um, President Clem Kuziak, one of his main themes was the art of recognition, and he actually had a, a brochure put together um, called the Art of Recognition, and it it labeled at that time that we're going back to 2004, 2005. Um, it had in that booklet all of the different recognition awards um, and plaques and pins and you know, what have you uh, listed in that in that book and I'm not sure whether it's still available or not so you might be it able is. To contact is it okay yep. yep and it's still available and you can go online and, and print out a copy of it and it gives an idea of the different ceremonies and the recognitions and rewards so yes that's still available Good. And just, if you type in volunteer recognition into your uh, Google, you will find tons of different things out there. Good. And then, and they don't have to be uh, Lions related. Like you said, you just Google it and just get a generic something that, that shows mm -hmm. recognition. And um, Lion Dawn says, we recognized a longtime non-Lion supporter with a special heart of a Lion glass heart at their anniversary event. So that, that's a really neat idea on how to recognize someone uh, in the public. Um, Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. A paper crane goes, Dr. Yamada's mm -hmm. on AJ suggests, and Lion Dean says, did you get your, let's see, did you get, <laughs> I don't know what this means, did you get your partner the yellow school bus for his award for being so friendly with the Lions. So there must be um, the yellow school bus somewhere. Um, uh, well, I don't, they use the yellow school bus down in Florida. Is that line from Florida? <laughs> and, and a simple certificate of appreciation. So uh, Chris, Lion Christina gives that information. And you, can, right, and you can create your own certificates of appreciation. It doesn't have to be one given out by the president. Just one of your own is very key. Yes. Lion, Lion Dean says yes. Uh, uh -huh, there you go. <laughs> Good catch. Yep. 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 that yellow school bus. <laughs> Good job, <laughs> Dean. <laughs> All right. That was just, that was just there two weeks ago. All right. Okay, well, I think that's good. I'd like to review our objectives just to make sure we've covered everything. Um, we reviewed our volunteer motivation. We understand, hopefully, the importance of recognition. We see the difference between a high praise and a simple thank you. Um, I believe we've learned and experienced the volunteer recognitions methods, and I hope that you've had a little fun in this, too. 
I really appreciate you taking the time to come to this seminar, to participate, uh, and to be involved as a Lions leader. I have one more quote that was just uh, before this one. I've got another quote. I'll read this one. Some of the richest people in the world are not millionaires. They're volunteers. We need to keep rewarding and recognizing our volunteers. And this last quote, quote I received in an email tonight says, a person who feels appreciated will always do more than what is expected. So please, Lions leaders, remember to recognize your Lions. Keep a culture of praise and recognition because those few words could be the difference between a lion leaving and a lion staying. So thank you very much for coming. I appreciate the time that you've given us today. And I am very confident that all you Lions leaders are going to do a fabulous job in leading our organization into the next 100 years. And I look forward to seeing you all in Grand Rapids. Thank you very much, PID Bud. Thank you very much, uh, International Director Carla. This was a, a wonderful experience, a, a wonderful webinar, and uh, we had a lot of great comments and participation from the attendees, and uh, I really want to thank you for taking your time for being with us this evening, too, as well. So, um, great presentation. Uh, on, on, the, um, on your slides now, you will see that, uh, just a reminder, about our graduation ceremony, which will take place at the USA Canada Lions Leadership Forum in Grand Rapids next month. And on Friday night, September 18th, from 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock, we will be having the graduation ceremonies that uh, anyone graduating from the bachelor's program and or, and or the um, uh, master's program um, is you are invited to the graduation ceremony. We hope that you will attend. There'll be more information in your program once you receive, once you attend and arrive at the at the forum in Grand Rapids. So the faculty members will be there as well, and everyone will receive one of the pins and possibly two pins if you've graduated from both both uh, uh, levels. And uh, you will also receive a certificate. Uh, of completion, and this will all be presented by Dr. Yamada, our international president, uh, will be there at attending and, and giving out the diploma. So we hope that you are all there, and we look forward to that as well. Uh, a reminder of our next webinars coming up. We have two coming up in the next couple of weeks. Uh, next week, 233 Team Building, that is an elective course in the master's program on Tuesday the 25th and then on Tuesday September 1st is a required course one of the few remaining re uh, required courses time management number 208 and you can register again a reminder you can register on the calendar page at my university for either one of those courses and again reminder and I think everyone is pretty well um, uh, used to the, the time frame now. It's 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And a reminder that uh, following completion and uh, leaving this webinar, you can go on online onto the uh, 204 course page and take the quiz. So we wish you best of luck with that. And a reminder when you leave now, please go up to the top of your control panel and click on the file uh, selection and um, exit the webinar so we can we can close out all the attendees and, and close the webinar up. So with that, we look forward to seeing you again at um, the webinars in the next coming weeks and also in Grand Rapids. Uh, so thank you very much for attending this evening and thank you again. I'm Carla for taking taking uh, the time to put everything together, and we hope to see everyone in Grand Rapids. Good night, all. Thank you.